In today's episode, you'll learn how to control a robot car using an Android cell phone. The application is designed in Android Studio. With the help of this application, the robot car can be wirelessly controlled using Bluetooth. This project is based on my previous two tutorials. In this tutorial, I explained how to change the name of the Bluetooth module and how to change the pin code or password using the ID commands. While in this project, I explained how to assemble the robot parts and how to use the L298 in motor driver to control the forward, left, right and reverse movement. In this tutorial, I also explained how to control the speed of a DC motor using the pulse width modulation. If you are a beginner and you have never used the Bluetooth module and L298 in motor travel, then I recommend you should first watch these tutorials and then you can resume from here. I will provide links in the description. In this episode, I will only talk about the modifications which are number one, Bluetooth module HC05 interfacing with Arduino. Number two, Arduino programming and finally number three testing. Let's get started. The components used in this project can be purchased from Amazon. The company's purchase links are given in the description. All the connections are exactly the same as explained in my previous tutorial. The only modification that I did is the addition of the HC05 Bluetooth module. The VCC wire of the Bluetooth module is connected with the 5 volts. The green wire is the ground wire and is connected with the Arduino's ground. The white wire is the TX wire and is connected with pin number 2 of the Arduino. The yellow wire is the RX wire and is connected with the Arduino's pin number 3. During the testing, I will use a 12 volt adopter over here. After I am satisfied with the testing, then I will simply disconnect the 12 volt adopter and turn on this button and will use batteries to power up the robot car. Now let's have a look at the programming. This is the modified version of the code which I used in my previous tutorial Arduino L298 and DC motor control code. In this project, I edit the software serial.h which is a header file specially created for making multiple serial ports. As you know in Arduino we have only one serial port which is on pin number 0 and pin number 1 which are the RX and TX pins. As I always said never use the Arduino's default serial port for the communication with other modules. Use the Arduino's default serial port only for the debugging purposes. I have a very detailed tutorial on how to use the software serial to make multiple serial ports. I will provide a link in the description. Software serial blue 2,3. We define another serial port with the name blue on pins 2 and 3. 2 is the RX while 3 is the TX. These are the same pins which I used in my previous tutorial. Then I defined some commands. 92 means forward, 79 means left, 71 means right, 91 means reverse and 10 means stop. These are the commands which the Android application will send to the Arduino. Serial.begin9600 activates the serial communication, 9600 is the baud rate. Blue.begin9600 activates the Bluetooth module while 9600 is the baud rate. Rest of the functions are same as used in previous tutorial. Then starts the while loop function. While blue dot available equals equals zero. If the Bluetooth module hasn't received any data or command from the Android cell phone application, then simply stay here and wait for the command. If blue dot available greater than zero. If the Bluetooth module has received data from the Android cell phone application, then simply store that data in variable data, then the received command, 
is compared with all the predefined commands and turn on and turn off the motors accordingly. We are done with the programming and I have already uploaded this code. First let's perform the initial testing and let's see if we can control the robot car using our cell phone. As I said earlier, for the testing, I'll be using a 12 volt adopter. After testing, then I will run this robot car on batteries. In the next version, I will use a different technology to control this robot. Support me on Patreon for more videos. I hope you liked today's episode. Like and share this video with your friends. See you in next episode and thanks for watching.